year, if we didn't hit that something this year, next year, uh, I feel that we're underachieving. And it's in any of our businesses, when you feel you're underachieving, it's it's not very pleasant. Yeah. You know, I don't want to just stay alive here. I want to, I want to, I want to put 30 guys to work. And I say guys because this really isn't. Uh, physically, it's a very difficult job, and um, we've had two women hoist operators. One lasted for a while, one didn't last very long at all. Um, so it's not a sexist thing to say the guys, but you don't want to pack around a 100-pound 100, 100 drill and climb up and down these stopes and go back in there and, and, and do it. Um, so the miners would all love it, though. Uh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> see a few women around underground. Guys, so uh, our mentor Rob is just uh, I mean, everybody know that there's some gold that he just found. Let's see. There's pyrite in there, but there's also it's pyrite. You get the gold mixed in as well, right through here. This the little vein right little there. Black the quartz. Vein. Yeah, the, the black. Vein. There's a lot of pyrite, like right here. But there's also gold up there. It's not as pyrite looks like gold, but when it's I'm going to try to get close to this so we can well, I'm take a good look my, at it. Rob, I'm shaking my head, but you could be right only because that metal there, and nobody could put a detector up there. Right, See? That's right. That's one of the things. Right that here, gotta, right there. But, um, right are you there. touching it right there? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. And that's... Taste it. Yeah, it looks... <laughs> <laughs> like a true geologist, yeah. That should be a song that tastes Really cool. interesting. I mean, I see why you didn't, because you have this thing in the way, but... No, no, no. We can move anything. <laughs> For gold, you'll do We're it. We're miners. <laughs> right. we'll, we'll move anything if there's gold there. I would... Hold on. Let's see if I can get a piece of that. Uh, Wash your pretty, eyes. Pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah, the, I mean, the problem... We'll come and look at that. I mean, right. It, the it, problem uh, with uh, this... The problem with this is, like Mike said, the cost to get it out is high because it's so hard and takes a lot of energy to make it work. Ronit, what are you finding over there? Uh, nothing quite as interesting, just lots and lots of pyrite. Wow. Yeah, that's a pretty well, pyrite. Of all of the sulfides, arsenopyrite is the closest one to gold. Pyrite has, on the scale, calcopyrite or uh, just pyrite, uh, galena, but um, arsenopyrite is the one that um, is closest to uh, closest to gold. Mm. I'm going to zoom in. Yeah, I think it would be worth looking at this. Um, so, what do you have there? I have a leverite. Let's see. Let's see. Leverite is leave it right where it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I had never heard that before. <laughs> yeah. Don't no. No, I, I mean, this is a, this, there's one spot right there. Now, maybe that's what, see that little tiny spot right there where my thumb is? Let, let me, oh, I see it. That little there. tiny dot, yeah. I'd like to see what that is. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm, that, that's okay. what I'm how, looking okay. at. How likely is it that if I'm seeing something that's like kind of rose gold in color next to the pyrite that it's actually gold? That's kind of what I'm saying. The pyrite I'm seeing it right is, here, too cubic so it sh shows up really well and it looks like gold but it's not so the gold tends to look uh, unless it's f free gold it looks a, a, it looks a dollar well, see that looks more but you know most of this really is our, we save our sulfides when we're running the mill and we put them in 55 gallon drums and the guys in nevada would buy them because they put them in there right they want the sulfur sure and uh they were averaging um Maybe eight, we do the samples, eight to ten ounces per ton in I'm our sulfur. Yeah, I mean, it, it gets bound up in the same thing. Yeah. That's, that's the problem. Yeah. So, right. Oops. No, it's really, it's pretty, I mean, I'm just, you, you know more about this mine than me, but it just seems like there might be, there might be something there. That's all. Well, no, I think you're right. I mean, it's, 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 um... So, Rob, if you look at, at right behind you, over on this other side, it looks like we have actually a lot of different uh, things.
things to talk about. Yeah. So describe what's going on here. All right, you have a quartz vein right here, mariposite here, which we just found out, chromite and other things in it. But you have a lot of uh, sulfides in this too. As you can see, pyrite right here. Um, that is leverite, as Mike just said. Um, it probably does have gold, but it's so low yeah. quality that it's probably not worth it. Leave it right where it is. Leave it right, right where it is. And you can see this right here. This was an old fault zone. And you can see how it comes up. Now, you can come in more closely. I don't know if you can, yeah, but yeah. Yeah. right there you see some pyrite. And there might be gold in here too. You can see this looks more like, as she said, more like a r rose kind of gold look, but that could be, that could be a mixture of different things that give it that color. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, it's the free gold that's great because you don't do anything. I mean, it's just free gold, but a lot of this needs to be a milled. See, and then again, um, open pit mines, they can bring in large pieces of equipment and right. um, there were people that thought about it years and years and years ago. Could this deposit be opened up for large scale mining and the the, uh, econo the economics of it don't pay it. They, it really won't work. Plus we're in the Sierra Nevada mountains. You're not going to eliminate, you're not going to come in here and mine the mountain. And uh, as you've seen, the vein can pinch and swell up to 30 feet and it can pinch all the way out. That's why one of the, the that uh, one of the mines that we're really close to right now in the old days was called the Tightener, and what happened with the 16 to one was it it, it was a conglom it uh, consolidated many many different mines, and uh, really so we have here maybe eight or ten different mines that were developed in the early 1900s or or late 1800s, and. You know, imagine it like the spokes of a wagon wheel where the this company is at the center and these operations, I could name them, the Rainbow, the Ofer, the Eclipse, the Happy Jack, uh, Red Star, um, uh, 16 to 1, Tightener, they uh, are all now under one control. Um, so, for example, if we need a $10,000 mine lab, uh, we can go to all of our different properties but if, every, if they were owned by every person, that would mean that, or a different person, they would be 10 people might have to buy that $10,000 mine loan.